Hi, Omama. I just wanted to show you really quick. Um, you sent me money to buy silk masks, which I really appreciated. I, that was adorable. Um, I ordered some off of Etsy, so uh, they're handmade by somebody in Ontario, um, supporting a, a little small business, um, and they're actually super cute. They uh, they look they look they look pretty basic, but they fit really nicely. Let me try to do this one-handed. There we go. So yeah. Not a bad, not a bad fit. I'm, I'm hoping it'll shrink a little bit the first time I wash them because it's a little boxy on my face and this particular gray one makes me look like a space alien. But that's okay. I ordered one in every color. So I have gray, I have pink and white and um, ivory. So yeah, so those are, those are my, yeah, I like, I like those ones the best, but yeah, so here we go. Hi, so I'm running out of things that I can do in a video to entertain you. So I thought maybe, I don't know, you want to see how I put together the rat cage because this is like my only creative outlet during this godforsaken pandemic. So I just finished cleaning everything. It takes a good, uh, on, on, a, on a not deep clean day, like when I deep clean the cage, I empty out all of the shavings, I take everything off the bars, I wipe down the bars, I wipe down the base here, I do like, it takes me a good two hours to do an entire deep clean. But uh, usually I just do, um, like I reuse the bedding and I just have to wash all of like the accessories and whatnot. So that takes me about half an hour. Um, so now I have to put it all back together, which depending on my mood can take anywhere from half an hour to another whole hour um, if my creative juices are not flowing. So that's where I'm at now. I've just finished cleaning everything and now I have to put it all back together. So I'll do like a time lapse or something so that, yeah, you can see what I do. So here we go. This is their litter box. I literally just use pelleted cat litter and it just goes in the in the pan. These are like PVC piping connector things that I literally bought at um, I think it was Rona. And I bury these underneath the bedding so that they have like a tunnel system that they can dig through. So. There we go. And now this is <laughs> this is the lid. This is their dig box. So it's literally a tote bin that I drilled a bunch of holes in, um, and it's filled with coconut soil. So like the substrate that they use for like reptiles, um, like bearded dragons and stuff like that. Um, and it's not bioactive. Like I don't have bugs in here, so I have to clean it out myself. Um, but they actually didn't soil it too much, so I'm, I think I'm just going to reuse the soil this time. Um, but I sprinkle a bunch of like seeds and stuff in here and then I put the lid on and they have to go in and dig around and they find their snacks. So, And then I have to mix it up. I like to put the dig box right up front against the panel so that when they're in there digging around, I can see them. It's really cute. And then we have this cardboard box that's not quite fully chewed up yet. This is um, from the store. It actually used to hold cat food cans. So 
And I'm going to put that, I'm going to put that here. So that's pretty much the bottom layer done. I do the bottom layer before I do any of the hanging stuff, just so I don't end up accidentally hanging like a basket or something on top of the wheel so that when they run in the wheel it makes a clangety clangety noise. Um, so first, I always also mess this up because I'll, I'll like be like, oh I want this basket here and I want that basket there, instead of working from the back to the front, which makes the most sense. Because otherwise I'll be like, oh, I want this basket hanging up front here, so I'll hang it, and then I have to move around it to get to the back corner. So, yeah. I actually, I made these hammocks, so the, the eyelets are a little bit weird, but like, not bad, hey? Not bad. I, uh, I made these all by myself with my sewing machine. So I like to, to hang them together. So I'll do the small one and then the big one. There, just like that. So now they have a little bunk bed hammock. I've got so many baskets. Um, I, I made this one too. So this is my own little invention. It uh, sits like this, maybe. There, so a little tr three three layers. These are just like shower hooks that are holding them together. Isn't that cool? <laughs> um, okay, I'm gonna put the space pod. Now all I have to do is put uh, their little, their toys back in there. Oops. 
So most of the baskets I fill, like I just put like a handful of shavings in there, but I, sometimes I like to give them kind of a different texture. So I've got a couple pieces of fleeces and I'm going to put them in this green basket in the back. Just something different. And I didn't end up using this rope. I think we're pretty much, pretty much done. Now I just have to uh, put in their food and their water and then we're pretty much good to go. I like this. This is a little hanging thing. So I put their food inside of it and then I hang it and they have to kind of work to get at their food. It's pretty genius if I do say so myself. And then this wheel on the side here is another little kind of treat compartment. So they there's holes and it spins into all the different compartments. And sometimes I fill each compartment with a different kind of treat. Like I'll do like like little yogurt treats here and then some some like seeds, so maybe some like dried vegetables, stuff like that. But I'm feeling lazy today, I'm just gonna fill the whole thing with their with their kibble. There we go. All filled. Sometimes they have two of these little um, like bird toys. Sometimes I'll fill these as well. I don't like to just put their food in a bowl because then it doesn't like they don't have any reason to like work for it. They just go and they eat. But if I put them in places where it's kind of difficult and they have to like work for it to get their food out, it keeps them entertained. So they're not chewing on the bars of the cage and uh, it keeps them from like gorging themselves and becoming super fat. So that's that. So then we have a bowl of water. And they do have a water bottle at the, the back of the cage. I don't know if you can see it or not, but um, I like to give them two sources in case like the water bottle blocks or something. Um, and they like to use the bowl as a bird bath as well as a bowl of water. So, you know, and then this is a little like planter box thing that I got from Ikea and I, I put some shavings in and then kind of go ham with their treats. So we've got Gerber puffs. These are actual baby food, but they're great for rats. So I'll put some of those in and put some more shavings on. And then, let's see, these are some apple banana small pet treats. I think these are rabbit treats. I can't remember. And some more shavings. And then I have some dried pasta, but I don't think I'm going to put any of that in. I think I'm just going to do some, some yogurt drops. One, two, and three. Three wraps, three yogurts. Oh. Also have these are also dog treats but they're made entirely of vegetables so um, and they're very very hard so I also usually put one of these in the big box forgot about that okay and we'll hang this in here boom okay we got food we got water we got a place to hide a hammock to hang in I think we're pretty much done Oh, and I always put a piece of fleece in the uh, space pod back here because I'd like to pee in it. You know, super helpful. Okay, before I put them back in, I'm just going to really quickly vacuum all of the shavings up that are along the carpet from when I took out the, the dirty spots. So, excuse me for a moment. Here we go. Now this is 
it all finished. We've got the wheel, we've got a space pod in the back, several baskets, some dog ropes, little hidey hut, their dig box. There's the uh, antler over here and the little dog chew. And then, can't open this too much because that gets caught, but litter box, the tunnels go all the way back behind that little drink tray. And more ropes in my little homemade hammock bunk bed in the back. So, there we go. Oh yeah, and their water bottle is back there. It's hanging on the outside of the cage. So, there we go. I won't put them back in just yet, um, but I hope that that was at least somewhat entertaining. Um, I'm worked up a sweat now doing that, which is hilarious. So, it's also very warm in here. The sun is shining. It was supposed to rain today, but it looks like it's like sunshine and like almost 20 degrees. So, hey, yay for that. But yeah, that's all for now. I'm gonna go and edit this video and send it off to you probably in the next week. <laughs> let's, let's be honest, my track record with timing on these things is not great. Um, but anyway, I love you. I'll talk to you soon. Bye!